sitting here getting his salary out of our salary. My next guest, you all know, beautiful, talented lady. She is uh, written, produced, and is starring in a rather unusual television special called From Raquel with Love, which will be on the air this Sunday night at 8 o'clock, but not on this network. It's, oh. as they say, on another network. Your show is on this network. And it's called To Laughter with Love. Isn't that fun? It's a love show. Really? Maybe we can make love with her while she's here. Welch, would you welcome Raquel Welch? Yes. <laughs> yes. Fruit and nuts is right. How are I you? I saw what's going on back there. I said, I don't believe this. I can't. I can't I'm not going to go out there because I'm wild. You don't have to eat anything. No. Be you. How okay. are you? Okay. I'm terrific. You're looking Thank good. That's, you. ni that's nice. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of crazy. Well, is, is that all one? Uh, yeah. One, I mean, one piece? I, yeah, I don't know. You know, when people say that, sort of say, well, what, what is that you've got on? You know, they said, what do you call it? You know, I... I don't know. I guess you could have two choices. It's either a, a grab bag with legs or... Um, I like that. Yeah, well, they've got to say that's... Yeah. Or um, um, this is my morning outfit since the election. Since oh, Reagan got you in the morning, are you? Oh, no, not exactly, because I kind of figure it's Mox Nish. You know, the, you know, the only difference between Reagan and Carter? What? Well, Reagan just left William Morris and Carter's... <laughs> that's an inside show business show. People don't oh. know who William Morris oh. is. The they agency don't. out here, yeah. Oh. Tell us agency. I've got something for you. Said... I told you before the show. This is absolutely true. I've got a... My son, my oldest son, Chris... Oh, I thought you were going for the fruit there. No, 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 no. <laughs> my oldest son, Chris, is a golfer. He was playing in a golf tournament in Cape Cod. Yeah? And he sent me this. He had checked into a motel wait, to stay, wait, like wait, most wait. young golfers do. A motel? Wait a minute. No, it was a motel. no, there's nothing wrong with this. I just want to show you. And on the pillowcase, the pillowcase is on the motel. Uh, on the this is what was on the pillowcase. Oh. Oh. But the funny part about it was, on the other side of the pillowcase in which my son was staying, was a picture. <laughs> Absolutely true. That's a younger, taken when the hair was a little bit different color, and my son went to the lady who manages the motel, and she said, "Can I have that pillowcase?" He said, "I want to send." She said, "No, I can't do that." And then he explained it that I was his father. And she said, oh, you can have it. But there we are. Oh. That's you realize you now we can, we can tell people now that we are together in a motel in Cape Cod <laughs> and shared the same pillowcase? <laughs> Isn't that wild? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to have it. Well, can you, like, write Well, I was going to ask you to sign it, and I was going to keep it. <laughs> Saying something like those wonderful nights could... in Cape Cod. <laughs> But isn't that, isn't that a coincidence? Yeah, and it's funny, isn't it? And I've been it? saving I mean, it really for a few weeks. It really is kind of amazing. He went in, and they have them on all the pillows, I guess, in the motels. I'm sure they have it. In the motels? That's yeah, like, on that's the pillowcases. Well, well, I suppose you know. people go in, and they, they see your picture there, and they, they, they fantasize. They do? Right, sure. She's going to legalize. She's looking at the, the, the label to see who did it. This is, a, this is not a yeah, designer, I'm, this is not a designer I, pillowcase. I'm wondering I get a, if I get a piece of the gross or what. Yeah. No iron muslin. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought you'd get it. I've been saving it, it for oh, a couple of weeks. It's, it's terrific. I, it's great. There we you were. Know? Face to face. Yeah. Back to back. I don't back to think back. this well, will whatever. make a lot of points with my husband if I put it on the bed with your That's, face. No, I don't think you're going to do that. I don't think so. No. Anyway, we had uh, we had no, Jimmy Co we had Jimmy Coco on the show last night talking about your uh, your special. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in fact, I watched. Yeah, in New York. Yeah. In New York, you did this. Yeah, we made the special in New York. You're going to steal uh, that, aren't you? You're well, actually, I think I will. I to put it in my. <laughs> well, I'll just leave it here. <laughs> <laughs> no, please do that because that's as close as I'm ever going to get. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll be happy with that, Rick. <laughs> where did you go right? Yeah, where did I go right? Anyway, he was here, and he said he had a lot of fun. You did um, yeah, this around did. New York. Yeah, we had a real great time there. Yeah. Because, uh, um, well, actually, my husband and I got together and kind of wrote this special. And it was, um, you know, it, we, we decided that uh, maybe instead of a variety format, we would sort of come up with a story. You kind of want a musical, a musical, a musical fantasy comedy. type of thing. A musical yeah. comedy, yeah. actually. And, you know, just a, a nice, thin... Uh, uh, plot running through, and uh, I mean, there's some really unexpected moments in it. Jimmy's in yeah. it. He's playing uh, Mickey Rooney. Mickey Rooney. Mickey Rooney is in it. 
And um, uh, I'm, uh, there's a couple of unexpected moments in it. I'm, I'm running down Madison Avenue uh, one, in one sequence with a straitjacket saying, Absolutely. don't raid on my parade. And uh, you do this on the street. <laughs> you do this on the street. See, in New yeah, York, yeah. you did that in Hollywood. Sure. You ran down Sunset Boulevard in a straight jacket. Nobody would pay any attention. <laughs> well, this is true. Although it was the first time I was in uh, New York City, and I really felt that I was sort of dressed for the occasion. Because I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. No, seriously, I love New York. I think it's great. In fact, that's why I. <laughs> That's one of the reasons that I got the idea is because I'm always hunting for an apartment there the last minute right. when I go there because I say, no, I really can't go back to L.A. I mean, I, I have a house here and everything, but there's something exciting right. about New York. So I thought it'd be kind of, kind of a madcap idea to find out what would happen in a 24-hour period if this, if this sort of arch-typical cliché movie actress sort of escaped her crazy press agent who is right. played by Jimmy Coco. And tried to find the quintessential uh, penthouse apartment overlooking uh, the skyline of Manhattan. And, um, you found it, but it was a fantasy, man. Well, kind of, yeah. You saw it. You know what a, pe yeah, you know what a penthouse apartment would cost you in yeah. New York City now? Yeah. A and lot of... It's incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. Really, yes, I know. But um, Mickey's in it, and he was adorable because, you know, he's got more energy than ten people. He's doing sugar babies at night, and we're shooting in Central Park during the day. we got a big parade scene going through the park. There are mm. gangs of people around, you know, and it's, it's really, you know, we created quite a stir, and it's, it's also kind of, um, well, it's very exciting and tiring, and he's yeah. just got so much energy, it's amazing. He always has, yeah. But it, it, was, it was great to have him because I really think he's kind of a... Well, a legend in his own time, and he somewhere yeah. touches deeply into the hearts of, I don't know, kind yeah. of everything that's Americana, you know, in the more innocent times. And that's kind of yeah. what the show is about. You know, it's basically entertainment. You know, I'm not trying to, uh, what was it you said is I was going to do? a big message? Um, Discuss uh, 16th century literature? No, I went, no it's, it's not like that. Not that I couldn't, mind you. But, of course. No. <laughs> but it's just that... Um, not to be self-conscious about all of that and just have fun with the image, poke a little yeah. fun at it, and uh, entertain people. You know, so um, what does we Mickey had a good play? time. What does Mickey cab driver? Oh, oh Mickey plays, plays a New York cab oh, driver. Perfect. He's kind yeah. of a leprechaun cum guardian angel, and he finds ways to show me parts of the city I'd never see in 24 hours without him. And he's, in fact, he's an angel, and I eventually get to um, Paradise Towers, and the uh, landlord of Paradise Towers is none other than Douglas Fairbanks, Jr., oh. who is like it. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. Yeah, he's terrific. He's kind of classy, you know? Yeah, you make your home out here, though, don't you? Yes, I do, yeah. Uh -huh. I'd sure love to have an apartment in New York, though. You know, it's electric. Yeah. Mm hmm. Let me do a commercial. We'll be right back. Stay where you are. <laughs> we are back. We're talking with Raphael Wells, Carl Reiner. You were, uh, are you, you still consider yourself a newlywed? You were married uh, yes. last July, so well, I guess. When is of, a, you know. There's an old question. When does a bride stop being a bride? Is it a year, half a year, or what? Yeah. One year. They say she's a bride. Who, what do you mean? It has to do with the husband's attitude. Yeah. It ah, can go on for forever. a long time, yes. But officially? Officially about a week. <laughs> <laughs> 48 hours, I figure that. Oh. But you still feel like a bride. <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, no, yeah. I no, I just feel good, you know. I mean, yeah, I was uh I was with Andre for about three years before we got married, and so there weren't a lot of surprises. Surprises. Yeah. And things were always terrific before and they remained uh, terrific and in fact got better, you know. I mean, yeah. We're working together and uh, I was kidding you when I saw you in your dressing room because like very as very often happens. <laughs> What did I say? When I saw you in your You don't have to say room. much, you know. I just said when I saw you, I, I paid a courtesy said. call. Whoa. I said, hello, Raquel. Well, you never do that, huh? What? You never do that. That's a, he did not say, uh, I'm making a courtesy call. He walked in the dressing room and he said, zip. <laughs> no. Let me explain. Let me explain. What's, let me explain what she... Let, no, now, it's exactly now, what I said. Now, now let me tell you why. An she was wearing a, a kind of a, a reddish, one of those jumpsuits with a big zipper. And in jest... <laughs> I went high, zip, and I pantomime zipping. It was yeah. all in good fun. Actually, <laughs> I'm going now, to pay for this, aren't I, dear? Now, now, you know what I mean. years ago, you and I would have gotten very uptight about of that. Course. I would have said, gee, he came in here and he's really a chauvinistic pig. I mean, how can I go out there? He's going to make these terrible jokes no. and things. And 
You know, but now it's just, you know. Certainly, I've mellowed, you say. It was all in. No, it's just I've gotten used to it. <laughs> hey, if you can't, you know, if you can't beat him, join him. I don't, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, as I started to say, oh, what I started to say was, as often happens in this town, when you're in the public eye, rumors start about marriages being unhappy. 90% of the time it's not true, but you've been subject to that already, and you've all been married since July. Does, does that get you esteemed when you read those things? Certainly not. No. But... <laughs> oh, is this supposed to show that I've got a great sense of humor? No, but because you know what I, I mean. I do not have a great sense of humor when it comes to things like that. I don't know, it's just, you know, it's so uncalled for. It is. I've seen you get really of a couple of... Oh. <laughs> That's do a, his number when he's been written about once in a while i get angry yes and i do get as you say no you know uh, what it's angry. Uh, upset. upset you know you know sometimes you know you're a target in certain areas and you kind of expect it but sometimes right. you just feel like they're really getting you on something where you're totally i mean you know i mean it's just so off in left yeah. field that they're really trying i'm always and innocent. you just wonder hmm? Have they ever written bad... Now, Carl, I can't imagine no, writing something can... bad about you. No, there, there's no way you can write bad about me. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. No, Perfect. I'm sure, I'm sure they have. I've I, never I, seen anything. No, I, yeah, I... Well, I'm not a, I'm not a sex symbol like you two guys. I, oh, come on. Yes. <laughs> no, you're, you, you're, you're in the public eye much more. I, I'm, you know, retiring. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But yeah. it's, a, you know, uh, it, it's a bad, it's a bad trip anyway. But that's part I don't want to give them more... But that's part of being creeps. in the public eye. You know that. And you just have to kind of dismiss... You're telling me. Sure. You know, I would like to be around saying that to you when you... When you've got something written about you, I yeah. see how you get. I do get angry, yeah. Yeah, and I could get pretty mean. Did you ever project ahead? What would you like to be doing? Did could you, could you ever look ahead or do you just live day to day? What would you like to be doing 20 years from now? How do you see yourself 20 years from now? 20 yeah. years from now? I, um... Uh, I don't know. You'll be 47. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, no, actually, you know, I have my 40th birthday. Yeah, it was in the paper. And uh, I don't know. That was You're not... You're a fine-looking 40-year-old woman. Though. Well, just, you know, now don't... No, I, didn't, I didn't mean that as show me. I just said you were... Now, this kind of thing is like faint praise, first of all, and secondly... You it's love like, them. No, they're just, they're just no, applauding. It's like, you know, they're yeah. really applauding your bones, that's all. It's bone structure. It's the bones, it's you the think? It's the bones, yes. Well, anyhow, what I... Isn't that what they always say when somebody... They have fine... Great bones. Fine bones, Fine yes. bone structure. <laughs> but her bones were put together so much better than our bones. I, I hope that all the and rest... And the bone covering was done well. <laughs> <laughs> the covering of the bones. We're in a silly mood tonight. Anyway, can you no, visualize no, and project well, ahead? Actually, I can, because, you know, it's funny. I, um... Uh, I recently, I can even mention this network, I actually did a uh, movie for this network, which played, I think... You played an Indian, an yeah, elderly... I played, played an Indian. It's a sort of dramatic saga that's two and a half hours long, which I guess uh, once they figure themselves out over there, somebody will make a decision that it'll be on this fall. Yeah. But um, it's funny because in the epilogue of the piece, there's about three minutes where I play myself at seven... Uh, not myself, but I play this Indian woman, all weathered and beaten down at 70 years old, a kind of survivor of the... Of the Battle of Little Bighorn. Right. And it's kind of relaxing. So you get the to day play that I got 70? all that stuff put on my face, you know, it was so mm. relaxing. <laughs> it was like all wizened up and sort of... And I... I don't know, I just thought, this ain't bad at all, you know? It's kind of peaceful. Yeah, but you didn't say, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> you know, I, want, I want to be like this tomorrow. <laughs> I... That is not altogether... Not, that's not altogether true. That is not altogether true. I guess it's because, you know... Uh, well, most people would like to live to be 70 and be in good health and everything, so there's nothing wrong with that. I just want yes, to fantasize true. ahead. Will what? you... Uh, will well, be, uh, uh, I don't expect to be sort of going off into the sunset in the bugle beaded gown. No, right. I don't expect that. And I don't want it. Yeah. And I, uh... I don't know, you know, uh, I could... Uh, I could write, I could produce, I could do a yeah. lot of things, and I could just uh, not do any of that, too. Have you written your own biography at all? Be... Have you ever oh, sit down and written a... No, 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 no. It doesn't appeal to you? That. Actually, it doesn't appeal to me at all, but I mean, I suppose if they offer you big enough money, I mean, you do it. Yeah, oh, yes. You know. I, I don't know, it doesn't appeal to me an awful lot. I, I tell you the truth, one time somebody did start to make some notes about my life, and um, about my parents, my childhood and everything, and they got into great detail about my parents and things. And when I started to read it, I said, I don't know, I don't like, I don't like this. It was a real invasion 
Yeah. Because it was so impersonal. Are you and basically I thought, a, I don't want this. Are you basically a private person? I, I mean, you don't like this. people? Yeah, I think I am basically a kind of private person, but I'm also kind of a kid at heart, and I guess that's why I still, you know, get excited and nervous and, and um, enthusiastic about right. being in this business, you know, because I just, I can remember when I was uh, thinking it was the greatest thing, and, you know, that... And here you are. Yeah, and that part of the... It ha doesn't go away, you know. What would you like to be doing 20 years from now, Carl? Uh, exactly what I'm doing. As a matter of fact, directing yeah. uh, or writing. Um, and, and you can do that when you're very old. I mean, I... <laughs> uh, uh, well, I'm, no, I'm very excited when I... You know, George Burns is, a, is, is our... There's an example. ...is the guy example. we watch for. We say, Shay, he's still dancing and jumping. And, of course, George Cooker is directing a picture now. He's in his 80s. And, and you can always write. I mean, if you, yeah. if you could ever write, you could certainly write as you get older. That was great. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back.